Welcome. This is from 2 Mathematics and the topic today is vectors 1. The question goes, vector OP is 6i plus j and OQ is negative 2i plus 5j. A point N divides PQ internally in the ratio 3 to 1. Find, then for A, PN in terms of i and j. So here, the solution would be, first of all, we are told that OP is 6i plus j. So first of all, we'll write OP and OQ as column vectors. So OP will be given as 6i plus j as a column vector that is 6, 1. And for OQ, we will have negative 2, 5. So next we will interpret this in diagrams so that if we consider PQ as a vector, then the position vectors of P and Q, which you had already been given, OP is a position vector, OQ is another position vector. So OP simply means locating P from the origin, O, and OQ means locating Q, from the origin. So the vector OP is as shown by the arrow OP and OQ is also as shown by the arrow. So for P, vector OP simply means locating point 6, 1 from the origin. That means you move 6 units in the x direction then a unit in the y direction the positive directions and similarly for q we will have negative 2 5 so we've been told that a point n divides pq internally in the ratio 3 to 1 so n is somewhere in between p and q so let's call it n and then it divides it in the ratio 3 to 1. So 3 to 1. So from there, we can now proceed on to determine Pn as we are asked in the equation. So Pn simply means uh, we have Pn, which is 3 units of the total PQ, which you've been given, three plus a unit there, so that is four. So PQ is four, PN is three parts. So we are simply going to have PN as a fraction of PQ, and that is three out of total four of PQ. So from here, we can come and say, but PQ is simply OQ minus OP. Just to explain this a bit, PQ simply means moving PO plus OQ, but PO is against the direction of OP. And therefore, we have it as negative OP, and that is what we have right here. And then OQ is just the direction of vector OQ, so it's the positive one. So every time you're given, uh, let's say, let's write it here. We're given AB. Vector AB can just be obtained directly as OB minus OA. 
so this will take care of everything so applying this right here uh, pq is oq minus op but oq already we have them uh, expressed as column vectors op is also right there so pq would just be oq which is negative 2 5 minus op which is 6 1 so this should give us negative 2 minus 6 that is negative 8 5 minus 1 that is 4 so with that we can now determine pn so pn is 3 over 4 of pq but pq we have right here which is negative 8 4 and that should give us negative 6 3 but remember we are told to give our result in terms of i and j so this column vector can also be written as negative 6 i plus 3j next we have pn so the first thing we need to know about pn so this simply means magnitude of vector pn so the solution here would be as simple as having pn as the square root of the square of the x and y components in vector pn so for negative 6 we'll have negative 6 squared plus 3 squared and that should be 36 plus 9 so from there we get root 45 and that is 3 root 5 or approximately 6.708 so that's it for this question. I hope you've gained something. See you next time.